Coming up in this video, how to add parallax elements and a slide down transition to the Divi slider module. So this is part of our series, five interesting ways to style the Divi slider module. In this video, we're going to change the slider animation so that the text and the button slide down from the top, as you can see in this example. So without wasting a lot of time, let me show you step by step how we managed to achieve this design. Okay, so I'm in the WordPress admin of my website. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to add a new page. So I'm going to go to pages and then click on add new. Now I'm going to call this page part two. And then I'm going to click on use the Divi builder. So the first thing we want to do here is we need to make sure that we uh, add some settings on the uh, section. So here I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my padding top and my padding bottom is set to zero like that. And then we also need to add a background image. So once I've selected the image, I'm going to go ahead and set as background. Now, just a quick note, if your image is not in the media library, you can add your images by clicking on this link, which says upload files. And then you click on select files. And then all you have to do now is to navigate to the folder that has your images. Okay, and then once you've selected the image, all you need to do is to click on open and then set as background, which is the button right here at the bottom. Okay, so I have my image here um, selected, so I'm going to go ahead and click on set as background. So now that we have our background image, we're going to click on save and exit. Next, we need to go on to the row settings. Now here, it's important as well that on the padding, we have padding zero for the top and padding bottom. So this makes sure that the image that we are going to add is going to fill the whole space. The next thing we need to do is to make sure that make this row full width is set to yes, and then use gutter width. This needs to be yes, and then this needs to be set to one like that. And then finally, we need to just make sure that keep custom padding uh, on mobile is set to on, and then we're going to go ahead and click on save and exit. Now we need to go onto the slider module settings. So we're going to click here uh, in set columns. We're going to choose one column. And then the module we're going to choose here is the slider module. Okay, so here, uh, show arrows, show controls. We need to set this to no. Automatic animation, we need to set this to on. And the animation speed needs to be set to 8,000. Next, what we need to do here is to set the uh, continue automatic slide on hover from off to on and then use parallax effect. This needs to be set to on and the method needs to be true parallax. And then finally, we need to remove the inner shadow. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on yes. Now we need to go into the advanced design settings. So the header font here needs to be set to Georgia, bold and italic. The size needs to be set to 44. And then what we're also going to do is to make sure that on the tablet, it's also set to 44. And then on the smartphone, it needs to be set to 30. Because on the smartphone, the font is going to be way too big. So this just makes it much easier to read. Now, let's go down to the body font. Now, the body font, uh, we're going to leave it as default. But all we're going to do here is to make sure that it's set to bold. And then the size is set to 20. So next we need to make sure that the styles for the button is set to on. So this allows us to make changes to the button. So I've just clicked on use custom styles for button to on or to yes. So the button text size is 20. That's now the text color needs to be set to black. So I'm just going to click here and then I'm going to select black. The background color needs to be set to white. Now we don't need the border width for this. So I'm going to set this to zero. The button border color needs to be set to white. And then the border radius needs to be set to six. And then here, just like what we did with the heading, we need to change this font to Georgia and we also need to make it italic. For the button icon, we're just going to say no to that. Finally, we're going to adjust the, uh, the hover color. So for this, I'm going to click and this needs to be set to white pretty much the opposite of what we had right there at the top. And then the button background have a color that needs to be set to black. 
and then the radius needs to be set to six. Okay, so that's pretty much what we need to do here. Next, we need to go to the custom CSS. So on the custom CSS tab, we need to scroll down to slide description and paste this CSS code. Now this CSS code can be found in the post, which I'll link in the show notes below. And you are free to use this code. So go ahead and try it for your own designs. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna add more CSS to one more place. And this will be the slide title. So I'm gonna paste the CSS here. So now that we've done this, what we need to do is to go back to the general settings and then we're gonna add a new slide. Okay, so on the slide general settings, what we need to do is to change this background color. So we're gonna click here and then just make sure that we select black and then we pull down the transparency all the way down until we get to full transparency. And then the next part is use background uh, overlay, we need to set that to yes, and then we're also gonna change the uh, transparency levels here. Now this time, we're gonna make sure that we don't go all the way. So we're gonna set it to 0, 0, 0, 0002, like that. Okay, that looks good. We add the heading, the text, and the URL. So you can choose any heading that you'd like to add in the heading area. For the button text, I'm just going to add hand, hand tossed pizza. Okay, but again, as I mentioned, you can add uh, any text you need for the button. So for the button URL for now, I'm just going to add a blank link. And then here with the background image, this is where we get to add our image, which has the transparent background. So my image is already loaded in my media library. So I'm just going to go ahead and click that image and then set it as a background. Okay, so for now, I'm going to save. And then I'm gonna do a quick preview and see if this image is showing. Okay, so we can see the image is showing and also we have our animation. And also if I put my mouse over the button, we can see that the, um, the hover is working okay. So that's looking pretty cool. Next, we're gonna add a new image. So I'm just gonna close this and then I'm just gonna duplicate the slide and then just change the image. So I'm gonna click on the settings and then instead of having this image here, I'm just going to replace that with another image, which is this one. And again, this image also has a transparent background. So this is important, as I mentioned right in the beginning of this tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Save, Save and Exit. And now I'm going to publish this and do a quick preview. So I'm going to go ahead and click on View Page. So we can see here, that uh, we have the images, but now here's the thing, we can't see the parallax effect. So for that to show, what we need to do is to add more content onto this page. But for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back into edit page, and then I'm gonna add a divider. So I'm gonna click on standard section, and then I'm just gonna add this one row. And for the modules, I'm just gonna add a divider. So this divider, I'm just going to make it say a thousand pixels. So I'm going to go ahead and click on save and exit. So once I've updated this, we should be able to see the full, we should be able to see the full effect. So I'm going to go ahead and click on view page. So as I scroll down, you can see now we can start to see the parallax effect. Now it looks like the vegetables and the pizza is sliding on the table. All right, so that's the effect we're trying to achieve. So there you have it. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. We will be producing daily video tips just like what you've seen today. Until next time, take care and see you soon.